In the 16th question, we should find perimeter of each of the following figures and we should tell what do we infer from the answers. Let's do the solution. Take down the first figure. Here is the figure A. We can observe that it is a square of side 25 cm. Therefore, side of the square is equal to 25 cm. We have to find perimeter of the given figure. This employs perimeter of the square. We know that perimeter of the square is 4 times length of its side. This is equal to 4 times side of the square is 25 centimeters. This is equal to 4 times 25 gives 100 centimeters. Therefore, perimeter of the figure A that is square is equal to 100 centimeters. In the 16th question, we should find perimeter of each of the following figures and we should tell what do we infer from the answers. Let's do the solution. Take down the figure B. Here is the figure B. We can observe that it is a rectangle of length 40 centimeters and breadth 10 centimeters. So, length of the rectangle is equal to 40 centimeters and breadth of the rectangle is equal to 10 centimeters. We have to find perimeter of the rectangle. This implies perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 times the sum of length plus breadth as we know that perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times its sum of length and breadth. This is equal to 2 times length of the rectangle is 40 centimeters plus breadth is 10 centimeters. This is equal to 2 times 40 plus 10 gives 50 centimeters. On multiplying, we get 2 times 50 as 100 centimeters. Therefore, Perimeter of figure B that is rectangle is equal to 100 centimeters. Take down the next figure. Here is the figure C. We can observe that it is a rectangle of length 30 centimeters and breadth 20 centimeters. Therefore, length of the rectangle is equal to 30 centimeters and breadth of the rectangle is equal to 20 centimeters. We have to find the perimeter of rectangle. We know that perimeter of a rectangle is nothing but 2 times sum of its length and breadth this is equal to 2 times length of the rectangle is 30 centimeters plus breadth of the rectangle is 20 centimeters. This is equal to 2 times 30 plus 20 gives 50 centimeters. On multiplying 2 with 50, we get the perimeter of the figure C as 100 centimeters. Therefore, Perimeter of the figure C that is rectangle is equal to 100 centimeters. Now take down the figure D. Here is the figure D. We can observe that the figure is an isosceles triangle since the length of two sides are equal, we have to find the perimeter of this isosceles triangle. We know that perimeter of a triangle is nothing but sum of lengths of the sides. 
this implies perimeter of the given triangle is equal to sum of lengths of sides that is 30 centimeters plus 30 centimeters plus 40 centimeters this is equal to 30 plus 30 plus 40 centimeters this is equal to 30 plus 30 gives 60 60 plus 40 gives 100 centimeters therefore perimeter of figure D that is triangle is equal to 100 centimeters now consider perimeter of figure A which is equal to 100 centimeters and perimeter of figure B which is equal to 100 centimeters and also perimeter of figure C which is also equal to 100 centimeters and perimeter of figure D which is equal to 100 centimeters therefore from the above we can infer that perimeter of all the figures given are equal therefore we can infer that perimeter of all the given figures is equal which is 100 centimeters.